Hello friends, welcome to Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and today's topic of our video is Construction and working of capacitor start and capacitor run induction motor. We will also cover its characteristics and advantages in this session. So let's get started right away. Firstly, we will take a look at construction of capacitor start and capacitor run induction motor. This motor is also known as two value capacitor run motor. Figure A shows the circuit diagram for capacitor start capacitor run induction motor. Both the main winding and the auxiliary winding remain permanently in the circuit during starting and the running condition. The auxiliary winding is located 90 degree electrically apart from the main winding. The main winding is inductive in nature and the auxiliary winding is capacitive in nature having two capacitors CR and CS with centrifugal switch SC. This motor has a cage rotor as shown in the figure. A capacitor CS known as starting capacitor it is connected in series with a centrifugal switch SC. So CS remains in the socket only at start and it is switched out during the normal working. When the motor reaches the speed about 75% of full speed, the centrifugal switch S opens and CS is disconnected from the socket. Hence CS is of electrolytic type. It has high value but short duty. Another capacitor CR known as running capacitor is connected in the circuit. It remains in the circuit continuously during starting and running of the motor. It is of oil capacitor type. It has low value but continuous duty as it is connected in circuit throughout the working of the motor. Thus the motor is a two value capacitor motor. A capacitor serves the purpose of obtaining necessary phase displacement about 90 degree at the time of starting and also improves the power factor of the motor. Now moving towards the working part of capacitor start and capacitor run induction motor. When a single phase AC supply is provided to the motor the two currents having phase displacement of about 90 degree flows through two windings which are 90 degree displaced in the space. So motor behaves as a two phase motor and start producing a rotating magnetic field known as RMF in the air gap. This RMF is cut by the rotor conductors. So according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction an EMF is induced in them. Rotor being a closed circuit, current flows through it and a force is exerted on rotor conductors. The torque is developed and rotor starts to rotate. When a particular speed is attained, the centrifugal switch SC opens and the capacitor CS gets disconnected from the circuit. The motor continues to run with both windings in the circuit. The auxiliary winding in series with a reduced capacitor. Due to the presence of both the windings in the circuit, this motor is superior at all speed to capacitor start induction run motor. Now the next topic of the session is characteristics of capacitor start capacitor run induction motor. Figure A shows top speed characteristics of capacitor start capacitor run induction motor. The lower curve which starts from below 100% torque is for condition only when one run capacitor is in circuit with both windings like traditional capacitor start and capacitor run motor. But the upper curve which starts from 200% is for condition when both the capacitor are connected in circuit with both the windings. As you can clearly see in this condition high starting torque is produced due to the increased value of the capacitance in the circuit. The auxiliary capacitor gets disconnected from the circuit when the motor reaches a particular speed which is shown by N0 in the figure. So a better performance is achieved 
by using two value capacitor start and capacitor run motor than traditional single value capacitor start capacitor run induction motor now the last topic of the session is advantages of capacitor start capacitor run induction motor following and listed are the advantages first it has ability to start at heavy loads second it is extremely quiet in operation third it has high efficiency and high power factor fourth it has ability to develop 25% of overload capacity i hope that you have understood the topic explained in today's session if you have any query or doubt regarding today's session you can ask them in the comment section that's it for today's session if you like the video hit the like button and share the video with your friends do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of more such videos thank you